Okay, this is a CD that we made. It's got a couple things on it. And we're going to see if we can recover them after we destroy this disc. Do it again. Oh man, do it again. Oh man. Are you destroying it? You're destroying it. Oh man, I think okay, you broke now, it. Now we've run over it and scratched it up. We're going to cut it. And we're going to cut it. And we're going to cut it again. And we're going to cut it again. Man, that's a mess. You see, we cut it all the way through. Now we're going to see if we can get, get so it to work. So you have to excuse my misspelling of email. Sometimes I'm dyslexic. But anyway. So I took the scissors. It wasn't playing my disc because it was out of balance and not level and all that stuff. So I took my scissors and I cut out the bad part. And now I'm going to try to use this part to see if I can recover anything that will be useful. So this is the same as what would be in a hard drive, uh, except for it would be a better disc or whatever, but and maybe multiple disc and multi-layered disc. But this is what I ended up with after we destroyed the disc to see if we can get anything off. So here we are. This is what's left of the disc. Try to get all the loose pieces off of it. I put it in my CD-ROM. This is not a special computer. It's just a regular computer. And we're going to see what happens here. Put it in. So now we're going to see what happens. I hear it making all kinds of racket. We're going to open up the file. There's the file. And look at that. So you can. I mean, as much as we destroyed that disk, and you can still get stuff off of it with me and my just crappy laptop computer. And you're telling me that our government that has a hundred billion dollars a year for security can't uh, get stuff off of a hard drive that's crashed I don't so in closing so. you can see that you can pretty much destroy a disk and even a layman like me with just a simple laptop computer you can still recover data